Why did the Twin Towers crumble the way they did? How did they remain standing for so long? December 23rd, 1970. One of the proudest moments in New York City history. The topping out ceremony for the North Tower of the World Trade Center. He took me down here on a, uh, a smaller crane. And I remember looking up at the towers being built at the time. I was like six, seven, eight years old. And I, I knew then that this is what I wanted to do. Also below the surface is a three foot thick steel reinforced concrete wall that descends about 75 feet to bedrock. Called the bathtub, the wall surrounds this house. It's necessary to understand how they were built. But before any construction could begin above ground, the site had to be excavated to bedrock, more than seven stories beneath the surface. A three-foot concrete retaining wall had to be built around the 16-acre site. Once the retaining wall was built surrounding the site, construction of the Twin Towers could begin. We made columns, which is a wonderful structural system, very close together columns, very stiff structure, very redundant structure, able to do that which the structure did do. Which... Eventually, the towers would rise at an incredible three floors every 10 days and when completed would stretch a quarter mile into the New York sky. The towers would briefly hold the title. One of the innovations was making the external walls the primary support for the towers. These outer columns, tied closer together than was normal at the time, could withstand the impact of a Boeing 707. Though the plane would destroy some of the columns, the building would still remain standing. Everything was just done so right so good. It's just genius design. Though the towers were considered an engineering phenomenon by architects and engineers, they were not widely accepted by the public. Revered as the city's other skyline icons. On September 11th, a large jetliner uh, traveling at high speed ran into the World Trade Center. And on the 77th floor of the North, and what had been part of his life for the last 40 years, came crashing to the ground. There is no way. When the airplane struck the North Tower, it removed about two-thirds of the columns on the north face of the tower. And similarly, undoubtedly, many of the inner columns inside of the services go around elevators and stairs and so forth were destroyed. It kind of hammered everything down, and everything went down. But the, you know, we lost 5,000 or 6,000 people, but, you know, we stayed up as long as they did under the... Virtually no building in Lower Manhattan escaped untouched. Along with the gray-colored buildings, which are gone, and the red ones to be demolished, those in blue had major structural damage. But the damaged buildings in gold are sound and all of those in beige required cleaning. The World Trade Center towers were attacked with approximately 185 tons of aircraft, carrying 75 tons of jet fuel. Though the structures seemed to withstand the impact, the explosions and the subsequent heat from the burning jet fuel were beyond its limits. The nearly 2,000 degree temperature would eventually take its toll, weakening the infrastructure and in two hours, reducing the Twin Towers to a memory. Even with the portions above where the planes hit, to stay up in one building about an hour, another building more than an hour and a half. Second thing is we should make sure that the plane does not get inside as, as easily, as fast as it did. So it does not deliver the whole fuel into the building. 